The Beggar Prince Once upon a time, in a prosperous and harmonious kingdom, there lived a kind and generous king. But our story is not about him. Then who is it about, you ask? It's about his son, young Prince Leo, a spoiled prince who was born into fortune and power. My precious son, Leo, what brings you here? Father, I want to buy a mansion close to the sea. Of course, take as much money as you need. You're the best, Father. Due to his arrogance, Leo considered everyone inferior to him. He was rude and never helped anyone. The people hated him because he was a spoiled brat. Spoiled brat? The prince is just too much. He took my best pie yesterday without even paying for it. He pushed my son out of the street, saying that he was ruining the view. I had to wait with my cart on the street for an hour until the prince finished his tour. He forced me to sell my seaside mansion to him because he wanted it as a vacation home. This has gone on for too long. Let's make a complaint to the king. He will surely reprimand the prince. And so the people of the kingdom signed a petition stating Leo's misbehavior and asked the king to reprimand the prince. Needless to say, the king was quite shocked to receive the petition. I cannot believe this. My son has committed so many atrocities. I must have been blind all this time. It's not your fault, your majesty. You have been nothing but loving and caring. Apparently, I was too loving. I spoiled him ever since his mother passed away. What can I do to get him back on track? Perhaps a good teacher can make him into a sensible young man. That's a great idea. I will ask my own master, Master Gregory, to teach my son the proper way to behave. And so, the king summoned his old master to the castle. Unbeknownst to everyone, Master Gregory was a powerful sorcerer. As you may see, Master, my son needs to be taught how to be a proper human being. <gasps> oh my, he is indeed a brat. I know, Master. I will allow you to use any method necessary to teach him. Any method? Yes, I am desperate. My people are my priority. Leo will be the king one day. And I cannot hand over the power to him when he behaves like a tyrant. I understand, Your Majesty. I will start my lessons immediately. Master Gregory understood that the prince needed to be taught a practical lesson. So, he spent a whole week talking with the people and workers at the castle to learn more about the prince. This is worse than I thought. The prince seems to have no regrets about his actions, but it's not something I cannot fix. It's better to get started right away. Get out of my way. You, fetch me a blanket and food. I will have a picnic in the garden. Oh, -ho. here comes the infamous prince now. It's time. What a fabulous day for a picnic. There's nothing like sitting out in the sun, having delicious food, and enjoying my own company. Kind young man, please spare some food for a poor, hungry beggar. Where did you come from, filthy old man? Get out of here before I kick you out. Please, I haven't eaten in days. Do I look like I care? Now get lost before I teach you a lesson. Oh, that won't be necessary. I will be the one teaching you a lesson. What have you
you done to me, old man? Turn me back at once. That won't be possible. I demand that you turn me back. I am the prince. You can't mess with me. All right. I will turn you back when you have learned to count to five. I already know how to count to five. Did you take me for a fool? One, two, three, four, five. There. The five you mean and the five I mean are different, sadly. Tell me then, how do I count to five? You'll have to learn that by yourself. Just like that, Prince Leo found himself in an unexpected predicament, just like he always did when he got into trouble. He ran looking for his father. Help, father! What are you doing here? This is the castle. I know, I'm the prince. <laughs> That's a good joke. Now leave before we drag you out. Let me see the king. We can't do that. No! I can't believe this is happening. I've been cast out of my own home. I guess the only thing I can do now is to learn how to count to five, whatever that means. And that's how Leo's life changed forever. One moment, he was a prince with everything he could dream of. And the next moment, he was a beggar with nothing to call his own. Get lost. No free bread here. Please, sir, I am so hungry. If you want something, you have to earn it. Sir, do you need any help? I do. Thanks. I'll treat you to a meal later. Master, have you seen my son? Oh, I sent him on a mission. Oh, I thought something bad happened to him. Will it take long for him to get back from his mission? It depends on the time he takes to learn his lesson. It may even take a few years. What? I'm afraid it was necessary, but I guarantee that when he comes back, he will be a reformed young man. I trust your judgment, Master. For a long time, Leo wandered through the kingdom, enduring many hardships. He was often hungry and cold. Sometimes, he helped villagers with their work and got a meal or some money in return. He asked everyone he met whether they knew how to count to five. No one seemed to know the answer to the riddle. Eventually, Leo reached the neighboring kingdom. Young man, what are you doing here? I'm looking for a place to sleep. Why don't you go to the building over there? There you will find a warm bed and food. For free? Yes, our Princess Serena established that shelter for people like you. No one has turned away. Praise her kindness. Thank you very much, sir. And so, Leo found a place to sleep and received good food to eat. He was grateful to the princess, whom he had never seen. And one day, some unexpected visitors arrived at the shelter. You must be new here. Where are you from? I'm from the next kingdom. I've been traveling for a long time. Are you looking for someone or something? I was hoping someone could help me learn how to count to five. What is he talking about? We'll see, princess. Young man, during your journey, did you experience hunger? Of course. I've felt hunger so many times I've lost count. Then you know how to count to one. Have you experienced cold? Yes, I had to sleep outside in the rain many times. Then you know how to count to two. Do you know about kindness? 
Yes, through my journey I have received kindness from many people. You know how to count to three then. Have you ever felt gratitude? Indeed, I feel gratitude towards all those who took pity on me and helped me. Great, that means you can count to four. Now for the final and most important lesson. Do you feel humble? I do. I started my journey as an arrogant and insufferable man. Yet here I am, humbled as I can ever be. There! Now you know how to count to five! Master Gregory feels that you have achieved something great. Please come to the castle tomorrow at noon. We will provide you with a reward. A reward? Yes, please be there. I will, Princess. Master Gregory, what's going on? Why did you tell me to ask him to come to the castle? All will be revealed tomorrow. On the next day, Leo visited the castle like the princess had told him to. He had no idea that a great surprise awaited him. Master, is this the young man you wanted me to meet? Yes, your majesty. He has wandered through the land for a long time and arrived here. Most importantly, he has learned to count to five. Count to five? He has experienced hunger and cold. He has learned about kindness, gratitude, and being humble. That's impressive. Why do I feel a sense of familiarity with this young man? Have we met before? <gasps> My son! Oh, how I miss you! Have you been wandering around as a beggar all this time? If only I knew! I would have brought you back. No, father. I had to learn this lesson by myself. I do not regret the suffering I went through because it made me a better man. And thus, my lesson is complete. I am very proud of the man you have become. Thank you, master. I am forever grateful to you. And so, the outcast prince returned home. He was much wiser and humbler than he had ever been. He was the epitome of kindness and compassion. The people loved him with all their hearts. Years later, when he became the king, he was the best ruler the kingdom had ever seen. <laughs>